Monsters Season 3, Episode 6, The Hole. The A production staff is back. Just forget about the last episode, Outpost. The Hole has action, zombies, great acting, and a clear, red-hot modern aesthetic, with every actor sweating and struggling against the zombies. You really feel like you're inside a Viet Cong tunnel, with one of the biggest casts to date. Nine people. Amazing. During the Vietnam War, American soldiers are sent on a mission to recover documents and interrogate survivors, according to the leader, Sergeant Kenner. They mark their way with shotgun shells they stick in the walls so they won't get lost. Yeah, that's their mission, but tunnels are hot, unsafe, and confusing. Apparently the Viet Cong had over 175 miles of tunnels. Every actor is hunched over almost the entire episode going through the tunnels. It must have been miserable to shoot this TV production. Hopefully Monster paid for a free ice bath. There is also a curse. A secret curse. When they tried to escape, the tunnels would not let them. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I do not know. The Hole doesn't use the paper mache tunnels of past episodes. These look about as real as you're going to get for a 1990 anthology show. They deal with all sorts of traps in these death tunnels from trip wires with grenades to zombie hands busting out of the walls. The main character is this guy, Sergeant Kenner, who's played by Ahmed Rashad, a retired NFL wide receiver playing for the Cardinals, Buffalo Bills, and Minnesota Vikings between 1972 to 1982. That's why he's so jacked. Kenner has a whiny subordinate, Corporal Torres. Rarely do you get such a wide dichotomy of acting. Kenner sounds cool and confident while Torres is on a perpetual whiny mental breakdown. That thing grabbed hold of me. What kind of thing? Corpse. The PC was right to get out of here. Hey, Troop, Troop, you just got a bad case of tunnelitis, man. Maybe he did too. Look, Sergeant, I think we should get out of here. I think we did our mission and everything, didn't we? Once they find a small Viet Cong base in the caves, they realize the corpses of the dead soldiers have disappeared. Come on, Torres, you know as well as I do. Our mission is to recover documents and interrogate the survivors. Well, there's no documented survivors, so it seems their mission is finished. They just have to find their way back. Oh, there's a half-dead chick. We learn the North Vietnamese army dug their tunnels too deep and hit a disturbance. A zombie disturbance. And that's about as much information as you're going to get. Two American soldiers and their one South Vietnamese partner outrun zombies the rest of the episode, and the whole has what so many monsters episodes lack, and that is action. It feels more modern and hides its low budget well. The production looks great for the most part. There are a few scenes that seem to be added in later. Comparing these two shots, you can see the difference. One looks like it was shot with a Super 8. There's only about a minute of these washed out visuals before it goes back to looking good again. I'm not really sure what happened there, but it's jarring since this is one of the best looking episodes up until this point. The zombies take out their one Vietnamese partner first. After their friend gets killed, the two Americans decide to abandon their mission of interrogating the remaining survivors because, you know, they seem to be zombies and really aren't answering their questions. The zombies using the bite first, talk later strategy. The emotional Sergeant Torres' plan of using shotgun shells to mark their way back out of the hole has failed. We then get a bad Bill Paxton impression. This guy's kind of annoying. But suppose someone... There is no someone, man, except for the corpses. And they're not this close to the surface. But the VC said that the tunnels wouldn't let them escape. It's a lot of crap, man. That's what he said, Kenner. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. I don't give a damn what he said. If you're smart enough to put these markers out, then you better be smart enough to follow them, because that's sure as hell what I'm going to do. The zombies crawl out of the walls and duck walk, the costume choice hiding that these are humans with ragged clothing, having more of a skeleton look. They appear exactly like what would come out of the dirty cave walls. You know the characters are going to die, but the claustrophobic setting still builds tension, and it really does feel hopeless. The episode starts where it began, in the Viet Cong base. A brutal ending and showing the tunnels were really in control the entire time. I give Hole a solid 8 out of 10. It's one of the highest rated episodes on IMDb. Outside of Torres acting annoying, pretty much everyone enjoys this one. The episode was directed by David Severand, who is known for directing um, 
this episode. Yeah, that's it. He hasn't really done anything else. Good job, David. There were three writers, Gary Conway, who wrote Conan the Destroyer with Arnold Schwarzenegger, tons of Batman animated movies, and most importantly, four episodes of My Little Pony. It's for the bronies out there. All right, that's it for this episode. In two weeks, we'll do three more episodes. Episode seven, Small Blessings. Episode eight, Shaving a Haircut, Two Bites. And episode nine, The Young and the Headless. Toodles.